Hello, hello dears and welcome back to the channel Benidum by Anna where we show you a lot of interesting and useful information about Benidum town and Spain in general. Today we are in the lovely Benidum city center. Let's have a nice walk and see what things we can explore and get to know today. We are in the center of Benidorm, right there in front. There is a straight road up until the Benidorm train station. However, we will be taking all the road down these lovely small streets of Benidorm to show you how the center is living like right now. You all know that Benidorm is preparing itself for the bonfires for the night of St. John's, which is basically the shortest night of the year. Uh, traditionally, it's I think it's 21st. However, here we do celebrate it on the night from 23rd to 24th of June. At least this is how it is this year. Uh, by the way, this is a really, really traditional fiesta, but only here in our region in Alicante and Benidorm. Uh, symbolically, in a lot of different areas, people do celebrate it at the beach area, but here it's where the biggest celebration actually is. If you want to have even more fiesta, concerts uh, and true, true celebration, you need to go towards Alicante because this is where this fiesta comes from. However, here in Benidorm, on the night from 23rd to 24th, we will also have a small celebration on La Cala Finestrat Beach. Uh, and there, there will be some bonfires and live music going on. Before, years and years ago, right here in the city center, there were two big bonfires, which were monuments. I'm going to put you some pictures here on the screen so you'll be able to see them. And these monuments were burned uh, to the ground on that same night. However, with the pass of years and with pandemics, they just don't exist anymore. I've called to the um, visit Benny Dom to the touristic office of theirs and I've asked what's, what happened with these bonfires and they say they don't exist any longer. So it's sad, but still we'll have at least one celebration point. Look at how lovely. This is all made by hand. Look at this. This is from this shop, La Furona. It's from here. Really nice. So before, right here, a lot of people were coming to this area to explore uh, the lovely bonfires and statues. But right now, it's not the case. These are some of the typical bars. By the way, this one, which is the Pirate Octopus, it's called El Pulpo Pirata. Really, really nice um, fried fish menus, really, really cheap. So if you want, you can visit this one. It has calamars, mejillones, mussels, like a lot, a lot of different things. And here, a lot of Spanish people are coming because it's actually really, really affordable. El Pulpo Pirata, it's called the Pirate Octopus. Then you have typical fruit, vegetable shops. Those who have been here for decades and decades in the area. So lovely. Right now there's way more people coming, by the way. Technically, uh, yesterday was the first day that children were going to school. At least here in, in our area was like this. Maybe in some different areas of, uh, of Spain it's different, but here it was actually the case. Uh, so starting from today, families are basically free to travel because children don't have any kind of school. They're on holidays officially. Some pet shop. So we will be able to see way more movement definitely this year. People were saving the money, you know, just to have really, really nice holiday. A lot of families need it desperately this year because they've not been on holidays for quite a couple of years already due to limitations. So this year it's the most expensive holiday ever in history, but it's also the most necessary, I would say it like this. These type of cafeterias, here you have um, a bocadillo which is like a sandwich, but like a long in a baguette, plus drink, five euros. Half bocadillo with a drink, four euros. Café con leche and the toast, typical Spanish breakfast, 
look at that that's really really nice 230 just for coffee and a toast by the way here they have some good toast this is cafe toulouse which is literally just a few steps from the market mercado here in benidorm which we'll be checking on right now uh, which is where we'll be heading but yeah here we have chicken crisp burger chips and salad and drink eight euros uh, traditional spanish breakfast plus the freshly pressed juice 330 really really nice definitely not expensive at all right now there's some building works going on in here it's nice probably they'll be doing some hotels or apart hotels which is just great location for them by the way right in the city center there's the um, cafeteria and bread shop, uh, Granier. We went to that one. We have really, really nice pastry and good breakfast deals as well. So you can come here too. We visited um, quite some times when we we're coming here to Benidorm. And it's just lovely. Some nice place. What is this? This is a tavern. <coughs> Marigan Tavern, Chico Kaya nice place but it's closed right now it's going to be opening up slightly later on have by the way here in the area you have really really nice prices for clothing just let me show you quickly here for example you have a unique price um they say it's a unique price of 5.99 but i do see for eight euros some of the things mostly it's 5.99 for any kind of clothing so if you're looking forward for something like for your holidays when you're coming here uh, both men and women uh, you can come to places like this here in the old town just to grab something out, you know, and then uh, you can either leave it here or bring it with you. But here definitely have some great, great deals. Have some flower shops. Mini garden. Like there is a lot like really cheap shops like see here, for example, everything like from 10 euros. They always have discounts. Always, always which is just great and here in the area this was the first uh, zone where before we used to have like the bonfire uh, the monument uh, and it was lovely a lot of people were visiting it but right now it's just empty it's really sad I'm not sure why they why they are not doing it any longer I suppose because they moved towards Alicante maybe because that's more like profitable that's where more people are going um, by the way, in Alicante, it gets really, really crazy these days. They have even mascleta, which is like these firecrackers, you know, uh, exploding in town. And they have it every single day at two o'clock. Look at that. These are dried, dried fruit, nuts, things like this. Typical Spanish places. You won't find these places in the touristic areas, but just here in the city center, like more Spanish part of Benidorm so yeah every single day at 2 p.m. they do this this mascleta here I would love to have the same fiesta in here but sadly it's not the case at least these years maybe the following years when we'll fully recover it's gonna be the case but so far it's not a lot of the touristic apartments and hotels are here in the area too these are really really cheap by the way there's Hotel Las Vegas these are like two three-star hotels they are really nice if, if what you want is just, you know, to come for a sleep and then you explore the entire day. So you don't actually stay uh, inside of the hotel room. So it does not make any sense to have like a luxurious, you know, um, room or a hotel type. Just with the two or three stars. Well, having a bed is enough. Then this is the type of hotels that you might be checking on here in the Benidorm city center. If it's where you would like to be. This building is the old, typical type of building here in Benidorm, Colón, it's called. They have a lovely garden and in winter, on Christmas, they do a lovely park in there. That's just amazing how they decorate this place. There is a small square where you can sit down, just relax. It's called El Jardín, the garden. There's a one-star hotel, basically like a hostel right there just a place to relax a nice statue monument depends how you see it which is this one right there and then you have the market 
This is the building, the main building of the market here in Benidorm. It has also Mercadona supermarket inside. There's a parking inside as well. Basically all these, these are parking areas. All these and the market is just on the main floor. Let's go and see what they have inside. As we're here already, why not? Let's go and explore what things do they sell inside of the market. Here you have a lot of terraces like this with drinks. Um, and this is where actually it starts to be like towards the old town, you know, like the more touristic area. And here is where you actually see more international tourism already. Everything starting from three euros. Here you also can get some nice deals on clothing and things like this. Let's go and have a small walk down the market. I'll show you how it looks like. Here basically tourists, um, well, don't usually come, I must say. Let's go from the other way around. But here you have like more typical things, you know, for, for Spanish people basically. Have some fruit, vegetables, which we'll see on our way back. Here you have like a cafeteria where you can have some drinks, some snacks. They sell typical pastry and also the famous Spanish chocolate in here. So just in case you're willing to bring something like this back to your home. The honey, for example, as well, the typical things from here. So you can bring that, that with you and purchase it here. Have typical Spanish uh, chorizos, wines, the Spanish hams that are hanging, just hanging there, as you can see. Cheese selection as well. Have like a bunch of things in here. Then that's Mercadona supermarket right there. We have some Spanish olives. Just meat poultry, typical Spanish veggies and fruit. And you have some shop like this just to buy like some things in here. They say it's like a gift place. Half of watermelon, 3.30. Potatoes, 115 per kilo. New potato, 99 cents per kilo. You have some coffee machines as well and some water machines that you can use. And basically that was the market. There is nothing specific to it, you know, but it's just um, there are a lot of things in here. And then you have a commercial center, which is Plaza Mayor, which is basically like a square that you get to see like cheap shops like this. Some of them did close and they are empty. This one before was Lefty's shop, by the way. Uh, but it closed down. They've closed lefties in all Benidorm. They are just in Alicante right now. Not sure why, but th that's the move that they decided to make, you know. Have some cheap shoes in here, sandals. For six euros, you know, like slippers for the beach, for example. Some magnets as well. One for two euros, three for five. Hey, that's the same type of magnet we bought in when we went to Mojácar, when we went to Almería. That's the same style, but it just, it says Benidorm on them, you know. <laughs> Curious. Then you have some outlets here of lovely shoes, bags as well. Here you have some summer clothes. A lot of them are like this, like dresses are really popular right now, like these type of dresses. Have some accessories, as you know, like Spain. This is to put on the car, basically. Some more slippers. Oh, there's some lovely magnets in here. You can see like this. This one's nice. These ones, I love these ones like this. You know, we're the most famous places of Benidorm. I've never been to this square, actually, before. That's the first time I'm going. Oh, that's nice. They have some cups here as well. They have uh, books with the names of children, for example. So you can bring like with some of the names, like if you have some of these names, you can just bring it. 
Look at this. This is my daughter's. Ariadna. This is lovely. Ariadna, the unicorn needs your help. That's so cute. You know, if you have a child just with the name of this one here, you can just buy it and it's like a personalized gift. And then here, you have La Mejillonera. This is um, one of the entrances. They have another entrance from the other side, but this is like really, really lovely place. La Mejillonera, this is authentic Spanish cuisine. This is one of the most famous places that I totally love and can definitely recommend it for you because I've tried it as well. We even have a video of this place, uh, but we went through other side, but still it's the same place. Really, really lovely. They have a menu rice menu entry mejillones calamars uh, red tomatoes with uh, ventresca bread with alioli and then you have paella to choose from minimum for two people paella valencian or just rice with pulpo with um with different types of veggies then you have br you have um included a drink, a bottle of wine, water, a refreshing drink or a beer, plus the dessert, 28 euros. That's nice. And then you have here some more shops and all of them have good discounts. Really, really lovely place to explore. Never been here, but if you are walking, wandering around Benidorm, don't be afraid, explore, because you'll find amazing places like this with really, really nice, unique shops. I hope you enjoyed our today's walk down Benidorm city center, exploring lovely places for you to see during your next visit here in Benidorm. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you already on Friday. We'll be making a small change. On Friday, we'll have a video from the St. John's night, from the bonfire night here in Benidorm. And on Sunday, we will have the latest news update or Saturday, not too sure, but I'll see you on Friday with the bonfire celebration. Bye.